get the box my hound for epic networking on uh, this is for on September 28th. There's some fun little uh, workshops and, and fun little things going on there, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, if you are a member, you also have access to a number of other member-specific trainings and things like that, and you want to make sure you do check that calendar. If you're not a member, well, why not? Sign up and participate. We have the most fun supporting local members. It's a it's an incredible group. It's a great community. We support each other. We lift each other up. Lots of fun marketing campaigns built in. And you get to participate in our Wall of Fame contest. I love the Wall of Fame because what we do is, is the person who gets the most fan brags, the business that gets the most fan brags in, uh, in a given calendar month, we celebrate them, we put them on the Wall of Fame, and then we announce them like right now. Right now. So we're announcing our August Wall of Fame winner is Sabina Claus. Sabina Claus. Sabina Claus. Over 17 years of experience experience coaching businesses, coordinating events, and maintaining accountability partner relationships. She helps businesses grow to the next level. She is awesome. She's incredible. She received a ton of fan brags in the month of August. She's well connected. She is well connected. Yeah. What does that mean? That means she knows everybody. If you want to get to know Sabina, you're going to know everybody in business. You, absolutely. She is incredibly uh, well networked. Sabina Claus, your business coach, consultant, and accountability partner. You can find her online at sabinaclaus.com. And that's C L A U S dot com. You can give her a call at 303 906 2244 and go online to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Read all of the fun reviews. She's also offering a special experience pros um, discount if you look at the offer on her Extreme Customer Service oh, Directory listing. Uh, register online at all of her events, Sabina Claus dot Eventbrite dot com. Congratulations, Sabina. We're very happy that you are now a member of the Wall of Fame. Well, uh, Gosh, lots of things going on. And I know you say there's not a lot. But I know. I, you keep saying lots. It looks like a lot to me. How does that look like a lot to you? Well, uh, you see all that white space in there? Do you see there's days that doesn't have anything on it at all? You know, members, you can post your events on our calendar as well. And apparently some of y'all are slacking. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're just kind of easing into this, you know, this month. Hmm. You don't think so? It's you questionable. Think, you, think it, you think the events are actually happening. They're just not posted. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Maybe, yeah. maybe people just uh, are a little slow. I don't we'll see. think so. No, Coming up next, the Experience Pros Radio Show. Buckle up. Are you suffering from knee, shoulder, hip, or back pain? And you've just kind of given up on doing all the fun things that you love to do? Well, now there's hope. Tune in Sundays at 9.30 a.m. for Live Again, brought to you by the Premier Stem Cell Institute. You'll hear from actual patients and their success stories. Live Again, Sundays at 9.30 a.m. on KLZ 560 a.m., brought to you by the Premier Stem Cell Institute. The Experience Pros with Angel and Eric, next on KLZ 560. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business. And your business is our business. You've uh, you, you've paid attention to those uh, the drones in the news. Sure. You know Amazon's going to drop you a present by drone. I know. I haven't seen one. I haven't received any presents. Maybe well, I should order something. The, from the Amazon. only presents Amazon is going to drop you are, are the you know, like a scarf or something like like. I could order a scarf. Maybe, maybe a bathing suit. A bathing uh, suit. Yeah, so something light. You know. Well, because it's a drone. And, and you got to carry. So did they drop off a bathing suit at your at your apartment? Maybe. Yeah. Is that what you ordered? Quite possibly. Hmm. So you got to pay attention nice to the piece. ounces of all the goodies. That right. You... Right. But not if a British man has his way. He has a large swimsuit. No, he has a large drone. A large drone. At what point? Like, is it not a drone and it's now just like a remote control airplane? This is a, f no, no, it's not an airplane. It's a drone because, you know, those drones, they operate on those, uh, the, lots of propellers, right? Usually four propellers. 
keep them balanced and you know it's the propeller that makes it a drone right because uh, you know airplanes have fixed wings do we, do we need to go into this well i just thought it was some automated little no. gadget that drops stuff at my apartment and spied on me yeah no no uh they do they do that Cameras, too right yeah. um and you're probably thinking of like the drones that the military has which, which do have fixed wings they look like airplanes but these are not those these are not your military drones no they are not um, but a British man built a 54 propeller man carrying super drone. They call it the swarm. He's actually flying. He can it. ride around in yeah. it. It's like a little magic carpet. Right. How fun is that? I'm pretty sure somebody's thinking it's not so fun. Who's thinking it's not so fun? People near the airport. Well, how far, how I'm high can thinking, it go up by? I don't know. You got... Well, does he have to have? You're not allowed to go up uh, beyond 400 feet uh, and, and 250 feet near an airport. Well, that and, makes sense, right? right? You have to have clearance, and you got to be speaking to the air air. What is the aircraft? What is that? That tower. The, the tower. The tower. Yeah, you got to you got to talk to the tower. Talk to the tower. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the, this this gas turbine 101 uh, super drone, the swarm. The super drone is. Pretty amazing, but you go back to you look at this picture that's it's on YouTube. You can see it on YouTube. Um, it really reminds me of the early days of Orville and Wilbur. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's all strung up and and weird looking. Yeah, very archaic, very minimal. But I think this is going to be the future of of what civilian commute. Stuff. Oh, you think we're going to be running around? So it's not necessarily Drones hover. Make better sense hover than, cars. than helicopters. Okay, there's, you can do it with a joystick. Sure. Um, Two joysticks. Okay. There's no, there's no covering. There's nothing to protect you from the weather. There's nothing. There's no don't windshield. I'm just going to work. You don't need a windshield don't to need go that. to work? No, heck no. I'm flying You're way flying. above the bug zone. Above the bug zone. Yes. But not into the airplane zone. Please watch out for geese. Mm. Mm. So you think this is going to take off for? I do think it's going to take off. I got, I got what you just did there. <laughs> Transportation more than like hover cars. I do. You do. All yeah. right. Well, you heard it here from Eric. Yep. 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 That's his big old. Yep. I said it. I said it here. to got it on record. And you know, I love food, and I love seasoning my food, and I use salt from time to time. Uh, but if you are, um, where is this in Maybarrow? Mayboro, Australia. Mar Maryborough. Maryborough, Australia. Um, you got to be careful with how much salt you bring home. Because Why? a man was jailed for four months. For bringing home salt. They thought it was meth. Who thought it was meth? They. They. The people that incarcerated him. Why would they think? Why would they think that the police man were performing a routine check of his car, discovered a substance they thought was crystal methamphetamine? What do you have it like in a little baggie? And it looks and like next a, to looks like some, a lot. some paraphernalia. Nobody apparently stuck their finger in and did a little taste test. So it was salt. Watch out for the salt. Did he know it was salt or did he not know it was salt? He himself thought he had a little naughty stuff. I don't know. He must have. You're asking questions. And no, he must have. He no must have thought. No one in the universe is knew, asking these questions. He felt guilty and he thought, but it turns Four out he months. was he was uh, he was duped. It was Epsom salt. It was Epsom salt. Ew. That's really know. funny. Well, I mean, it's sad uh -huh. in an Australian kind of way. All right. But that he would, he was in jail for four months. He thought it was, he thought it was, he thought it was drugs too. He got to know the wombat pretty well. I don't know what a wombat is. It's an Australian thing. All right. All right. Well, all right. We're going to move along. Fosters. We're going to move along. It's Australian for beer? For beer. Okay. All right. He thinks he speaks Australian now because he's read two, two headlines <laughs> out of Australia. But we're going to bring him back to, back to our own little Why planet. Why are we talking over about here. him in the third person? Right, because I get to. Oh, because I get to. Well, we're going to do some business tips. We're going to bring in our friends Mel and Bobby Sue Bowman from H or from Bowman HVAC. They are the most adorable couple, taking care of all your heating and air conditioning needs. Bobby Sue, welcome. Thanks for having us today. Hi, Mel. Hi, how are you doing today? You guys are adorable. Thank you, you really are. You are. You're sitting are here adorable. in the studio, they hold hands, <laughs> it's completely in love, and you run a business. 
Yes. Together. That's together. Awesome. <laughs> together. And yes. you're still kind of happy about all that. All of it. You still vacation together. You spend time together. What is our business tip this week? Today, we are going to be talking about follow-up strategy and how important that is to um, be a part of your um, follow-up, obviously. Uh, we were just at a trade show on Thursday. It was the um, August extravaganza, and we are just so blessed to have uh, had training from Miss Katie and Miss Grace of CR Conversations. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> what kind of stuff, what kind of stuff did, they, did they talk to you about? Because they know a lot of folks go to trade shows, right? And we, you know, the people come by and we have these great conversations and it's super exciting. But at the end of the day, you're exhausted and you pack up your booth, you pack up all your wares and it kind of goes in a corner somewhere. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, they, uh, your, they teach you to not do that. They teach you, um, you know about what you need to sending do? out thank you cards. And yes, sir. F you. <gasps> yes. Follow up. Just follow up. <laughs> what were you thinking? Follow up. <laughs> I'm thinking these are nice people. No, they are nice They're people. They're totally nice understood. People. It's follow yeah. up. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It, yes. Did you understand that? I now? absolutely understood it. And I was just giggling the whole way. Giggling it's, the whole way. It really sticks out in your mind whenever you say stuff That's like right. that. That's <laughs> right. I want you to remember the F you. I will always remember. Yeah, F you. There okay, you go. Okay, so so what kind of things are you guys going to do to follow up from the, the trade show? You are supposed to send out a thank you card um, a couple of days, up to two days after. Um, there's an eight-touch follow-up strategy that they have in place. And because of that training, we're able to do that and actually use, you know, I can't. Use it in order to follow up with our our customers and actually get more sales and your prospects as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And I think it's a it's a very important thing when you are, you know, at a trade show. the 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 conventional wisdom says he or she who comes home with the most business cards wins, but that's not really the reality. He or she who comes no. home with the most business cards has the has most the most business cards, right? right? Exactly. One thing that I noticed or that I learned from Katie and Grace was they did a uh, little skit whenever they were doing their speech and it showed the the similarities of being in a relationship a dating relationship versus a business relationship a marriage relationship versus a business relationship been saying it for years exactly. it's so important it is so important because if you're going to be in business with someone and you want to continue business with them for years and years and years so that you maximize your profits and also maintain um, a great relationship you're going to pretty much be married to them. You, you pretty know? much are. And right. you're going to create that loyalty. Absolutely. Right? They're yes. going to stick with you. Um, you know, when you talk about an eight-touch follow-up system, I think the majority of people will do something like maybe two, maybe even three times to reach mm -hmm. out to somebody. But we know that most people have to hear from us repeatedly. Yes. Um, a lot of times before they'll build that, that trust factor to turn yes. around and do business with you. And so what kinds of things, when you think about eight, touches i think nobody has any clue what i'll send a thank you card i might do a phone call i have no clue what i would do next email um send a quick email let them know that you're thinking about them in a way that's personal you know where um i saw this article and it made me think of you and your dog that we had been talking about i'll tell you what i've been following you guys on facebook and i love who does your facebook posts katie and grace katie and grace <laughs> yes. they do some really fun they're connected uh -huh. they do yeah. some really fun stuff so <laughs> they do. all right well love that you guys are working with another member of the extreme customer service directory mm -hmm. to um just to grow your business you guys are incredibly involved in the community anybody's having any trouble right now want to get their um furnace looked at before it gets yes. too cold in the colorado region go what's ahead what's the yes. best number best way to connect with you guys it's at 303-622-6502. Do that again. 303-622-6502. Love that. You can also find them at bowmanhvac.com. Is that right? Absolutely. Fantastic. And we'd love to help you out any way we can. Remember to do your FU. <laughs> Serving all of Colorado with your heating and air conditioning needs. Bowmanhvac.com. All right. Oh, sorry. Folks, we have to take a quick commercial break when we come back. More positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. 
You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000204. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.com. CO.US. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle, one piece at a time. Dude, you're wild. No, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you, your wife's hot. Will someone please call Bowman Heating and Air? It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about the preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. BowmanHVAC.com. Imagine having a business partner watch over your computer systems day and night, actively responding to changing needs in your environment, helping make sure things run fast and smooth, protecting your valuable information. With availability, our managed services platform, C Squared Computer Consulting can provide 24 by 7 monitoring, manage updates, and optimize your systems. Let C Squared be your business partner. Call us at 303 933 1113. Mention Experience Pros, and we'll waive the setup fee. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Let's talk about advertising. It's a key element for growing your company and making sure people are aware of your brand. If you're going to put a half-page ad into a magazine with 60000 in circulation, it'll cost about $1,500, and you get to be in front of your target audience. If you're going to attend a big trade show, you're going to spend about $1,500, and you get to interact with potential clients. If you're going to sponsor a foursome in a golf tournament, you're going to spend about $1,500, and you get to support your favorite charity. At Experience Pros, $1,500 goes a long ways. You get an entire year of membership with business networking, online customizable listing, featured ads, three radio spots during the year, speaking opportunities, sponsorship options, and more. Sign up today at experiencepros.com. Hi, I'm Angie Austin with the good news with Angie Austin. That's me. Please join me right here on this station, KLZ, for the good news on Sundays at 8 a.m. <laughs> The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Just shoot for the stars. If it feels right, then aim for my heart. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're trying some new technology in the studio. Z, you want to check this out? I do. So you know that we, uh, we we live stream not just by the audio on your favorite radio station, but we also live stream by way of video, and it goes direct to YouTube, right? Right. Well, the engine for that is Google Plus Hangouts. Right. And if you're on Google Plus right now, and we want to wave to the uh, viewers that we have right now, thank you so very much for being there. You can actually join the conversation by asking the experienced pros a question relevant to the topics that we're talking about on the show. And the question will be posted 
in our Google Hangout view, and we can answer them. How exciting. Live and in real time. We're super interactive. We've always got our Facebooks open. We've got, we do Twitter. We're doing the Google Plus. We do the Hangout. We do all sorts of fun, interactive things. So if you have a question about how to get into that, that ask a question, uh, there's a little box up at the top of the frame. And all you got to do is click on that box. You'll see the app that says Q&A. Click on that. You're ready to go. All right. All right. All right. I got to turn you down. You're like yelling. Am I loud? There. Yeah. I don't mean to be loud. No, I know. I'm like, all of a sudden you were like so excited about well, I am excited. That's yeah. true. All right. Well, I've got some things that are just going to get you so excited. Oh, go, go. Let's say we're talking about tacos today. No, no, no. But we're going to help you to gain a competitive edge with things you can do first thing in the morning. What? What? A competitive edge? Mm -hmm. Starting your day off. In things the morning? You do the very beginning, giving you a competitive, competitive edge. And you're going to love this first one. Oh, we'll see. This actually came from a newsletter from our friend, Coach Brew, John Brewbaker. That guy's awesome. Coach Brew, B R U dot com. He says, rise yep. and grind. Excuse me? He says, rise and grind. That's his family show. I know. He says, the, the grind is an acronym. Well, G R I N D. Get ready. It's a new day. Oh, that kind of grind. Okay. Ready, yeah. It's all a right. New I understand. Day. Yep. Are, are you tracking with me? I am now. I'm coming back? Uh, I was trying. Okay. Wake up an hour earlier, he says, than everyone else in your house. <laughs> right. <laughs> grind to a halt right there. Wow, no kidding. Hitting snooze is not an option. Oh. This provides you with a quiet, distraction free environment to enhance your focus. All right. Grab your coffee instead. Check your email. Instead. What? Instead of checking your email or watching the news, what? Invest that time in reviewing your vision board, writing down your goals, and making sure you have your plan for the day. Has he lost his ever loving mind? That will move you closer to your vision. Particularly focus on that one mission critical goal that you have to achieve today to make today a win. You know what a mission critical goal is? Sleeping. Roll over, go back to sleep. I am, yeah. Th this whole thing, if I don't have to get up, I, I always think, okay, I've got a little extra time in the morning. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to do all these great things. But when the morning actually comes, yeah. and if the alarm goes off or right. somehow, and I'm thinking, well, I could just you know, really lay here for another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And then that other 20 minutes, minute. if I, if I, Bring the fan into the bathroom to speed dry while I'm blow drying my hair. I can cut off a couple extra. I can sleep in extra another two or three minutes. If I lay here and think about what I'm really going to wear rather than stand in my closet, I can. I mean, I can just talk myself and staying into into staying in bed for just as long as possible. Number two, he says, shower time. <laughs> Please. Ever notice you do some of your best thinking in the shower? He says there's a good reason why. It's relaxing and a monotonous task. When you're relaxed, your body produces more dopamine in your brain, more alpha waves. More, more what? Good D stuff. Do dope. Dopamine. I yeah. am a dopamine. You are dope. Most stimul or both stimulate your creative juices and ideas. Use this time to think about ideas to help you accomplish the goals you wrote down. To prevent your good ideas from escaping down the drain, he says, keep a dry erase marker in the shower. Make notes on the wall, is, and as soon as you get out, take a photo of it with your camera phone. Store it in Evernote and act on the information later. He also says you can invest in Aquanotes, which is a waterproof notepad. A I water? What? Yeah, the dry erase. I've done the dry erase to leave like little cute little messages for my family on the bathroom mirror and a dry erase. You know, just I believe in you. Give yeah, me you know, congratulations all, all right, that fun all stuff. Right. And, and it comes off. I never thought about bringing one into the shower. I don't know if you can force feed the thoughts to go into the shower and say, okay, now, Angel, have a productive thought. Hmm. Because I think, I think they don't, you can't force it that way. But if you've got a pen, I think that's kind of smart. And then take a picture of it when you're done. Okay. You know, I don't why, know. Why are you casting shade on that? I, I don't know. What, what, what aren't you buying into? Aqua notes. Just saying. Do you not ever have a good thought in the shower that you wish you could write down? Plenty of good thoughts, but I don't want to want write them down. Okay. Commuting time. Americans waste the equivalent of a work week sitting in traffic. Oh, come on. I think we do that every month. Transform your morning and evening commutes from stressful time or wasted time into 
Windshield University. Windshield University. What, what is Windshield University? He says the average daily commute time in the U.S. is 50 minutes round trip. If you invested your 50-minute commute each workday into audiobooks, podcasts, it equates to four hours a week and adds up to 216 hours in professional development annually. You know what? I like this, this you get one. get the equivalent of an MBA's worth of professional development in what was previously... You're downtime. You know, I like this. Uh, we have uh, the think tank, right? Well, we did, yeah. Well, it used to be a big green truck that we called the think tank, but mm -hmm. we have the equivalent to the think tank. It's a fan bragging wagon trolling down the street, uh, and, and we have the same kind of commute. You know, it's a, it's a half hour each way. We use that for productive uh, planning time. Mostly. What? I mean, mo Mostly. Okay. You don't think you don't think there's any there's any downtime in there? Very little. Lunch time. Maybe you can get on board with this. I'm totally on board with this. Lunch time. Stop, yes. Stop eating at your desk. Whoa! Stop talking. What? Or worse, taking extended social lunches. Schedule business lunch meetings at least one every single week that can help you achieve one of your goals, make a sale, or advance your career. Use a few minutes of your lunch break to recalibrate your schedule and review your win-the-day goal. You know, the fact of the matter is we spend about 31 hours a month in unproductive meetings. I know, so we're going to add another? Yeah. you yeah. you got to plan that thing out. Somebody's got to bring the lunch or the zucchini. I forgot. <gasps> Again. Right. All right. Pre-meeting or appointment time, he says if you arrive a few minutes early or when a meeting starts late, there's some idle time that if you bring a book along with you, you can catch up on some great reading. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in a useless meeting or boring meeting that leaves you wishing you had that hour of your life back, right. you can use that time to jot down some ideas, create your action items, fin finish the day strong, and look up every so often, smile and nod. People will be convinced you're taking notes about the meeting. See? There you go. <laughs> And then uh, what, what do you do after the meeting? Uh, instead of killing time on Facebook while waiting for the next thing, invest that time with an immediate follow-up on the action items. Um, this is where you can write those thank you notes, um, put those items in your to-do list or schedule them in your calendar. And sometimes you can turn a 30-minute meeting into a 15-minute one, he says. Come on. Now that I'm all over. Let's take those 30-minute or hour and 30-minute you are meetings. the worst culprit. Yeah. You no. you like to go on. We true. have a one hour staff meeting, and true. you have these stories that you have to share. I talk almost not at all in our staff meetings because when he's not talking, he's doing something else completely. He's disconnected from Working the meeting. On the stuff because of the meeting. Right, right. He <gasps> looks up and nods, and then tells a story. You're using that third person again. He is in the room. You. Yes. Uh, you. Right. Are, you need to be more productive and useful in our meeting. Watch how productive I'm about to be. You ready? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after these messages. You're listening to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. If your internet presence isn't generating the business you need, you need Greenwood Digital Marketing. They'll help refresh that old, stale, non-mobile website of yours. They'll manage your listings, social media, and online reputation. Absolutely critical in today's social media world. Get your business's free online analysis by calling 720-739-1875. That's 720-739-1875. GreenwoodDigitalMarketing.com. Again, that's GreenwoodDigitalMarketing.com. 
Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff it up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. You're busy, but are you really achieving the dreams you thought you would? Infinite Nation knows that when your vision is big enough, you can create infinite success. Request your free vision check phone call with award-winning vision coach, Carrie Conley. Discover how easy it is to achieve your infinite success. Call 720-331-8693, 720-331-8693, and check out the Vision is Victory workshop online at infinitenation.com. When mom became unable to care for herself, I couldn't always be there. I chose home care assistance because it was the only option that made sense. She's done so much for me. I wasn't going to put my mom in a home. She called home care assistance at 720-443-3371. Mom's caregiver gives her great one-to-one -one care and a lifestyle she deserves, all in the comfort of her own home. Live in and hourly care available. For a free in-home consultation, call 720-443-3371 or home care assistance Denver. Com. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? You're not alone. Sandy Corrigan has a system that helps people create careers worth having, businesses worth owning, that result in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. Landlords, listen up. If you have investment property, you need Legacy Properties PM. Devin Bewley will absolutely get you the highest rent possible, handle every imaginable emergency, and make sure that your property is well cared for. He visits every property regularly and knows that he's working for you. Legacy Properties PM, where their promise to you is simple. If your property isn't earning you money, you owe them nothing. There's nothing to lose. 720-989-1996. Mention experience pros and they'll waive the first month month's management fee. There's only one place on the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then and tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Listen to this music, Abra. Abracadabra. You can do a magic trick for us? You know, the, the biggest magic trick of all is trying to find the work-life balance. Does it exist or is it just... A myth. An illusion. An illusion. I want to join, uh, welcome our uh, viewers on uh, the YouTube video. If you are watching by way of Google+, Plus, and you go to the Google+, Plus Hangout, not through the YouTube video, but through the Google+, Plus Hangout, you can actually interact with us and add your comments and questions to the show. How about this one? Listening to you guys all the way from from Brazil. Brazil. Right. Right. Yes, thank Gustavo. you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, all right. So, is it a myth? You know, we were participating in the oh, what is it? The small business big game through a yeah, books contest, absolutely. and they've got a great little blog for entrepreneurs. And if you're not part of the own it uh, social media little site. Lots of great articles, blogs, interaction for entrepreneurs. But they posted out a question, work-life balance, where do you draw the line? And I think that's this that's a struggle that a lot of us have because it's never really quite imbalanced. Something's always suffering. There's, there's a line? Well, do you think so? I mean, at some point you've got to turn off 
the phone, I, I, unplug, and go and be with the people. Yeah, I agree with that. And I have to go on the record. For 12 years, I was way out of balance. And for seven of those years, I worked 110 hours a week, every week, no days off. And, and I, I, I didn't burn myself out, but boy, I did not have any balance at all. Well, you had never taken a vacation. No, not for 12 years. Your family kind of was on the back burner. Yeah. And, and you know, but you were happy with that. You were okay with that. And it, it, it was what it was. So, and, you know. And I think that I remember, you know, and I was recently, I was, uh, I was at a, I was, uh, I don't know, getting, getting a massage. And they were asking me, oh, what do you do to relax, Angel? I'm getting I mean, a massage. I'm getting a massage, right? Doesn't this count? And, you know, looking at my schedule on, on Facebook and you so, see, you know, that's a one-sided story. I know it looks like I'm never down. I'm never, I'm never relaxing. I said, but here's the other side of that too. Like, what else would I be doing? I love what I do. I love the people I get to hang out sure. with. Um, there's a lot of social aspects into what I do as well. And so do you want me to go sit home on the couch and watch TV and eat? No. Potato chips? No. No. I wouldn't love that at all. And do I need a hobby? Maybe, but I don't really want to, I don't have any brain power right now to add more into, into my world. So I'm kind of happy, but I thought let's read what some other folks are really real life comments from folks that are struggling with work-life balance. All right. Becky, she says, I found this to be a difficult struggle my whole life. I have family for business partners, and it's difficult to not talk work after hours. Right. It takes a lot of intention to stick to your own rules about time off. In a crisis, I still break the rules. It's always a struggle to give myself time off. But, of course, she's working with her family. She is, and, and that home-based business is a different uh, different game. But uh, interesting, when, it, when, it, when a crisis arises, she breaks the rules. Don't we all? I guess. Uh, Lisa wrote in, and she says, uh, number one, wake up and get dressed. Number two, while working at my home office, I schedule a lunchtime. Sometimes I prepare my own lunch. Sometimes I benefit from the fact that I'm an entrepreneur and I can meet friends for lunch. But I don't do it every day. I keep a time limit. Stay on schedule. Number three, knowing when to turn the computer off and end my workday and start to transition into my evening helps. I think Lisa's on to something. Cheryl says, I am my worst boss and harder on myself than anyone ev has ever been. But over time, I've learned that it doesn't negatively affect the business so much. Taking time to spend people with people I love, it actually replenishes my creative energies to take a little time off. Right. It's hard to do, but over time, you know that it's the right thing to do. Entrepreneurs have goals and live life. They work hard, play hard, and entrepreneurs also think for themselves and can responsibly choose to spend time on things and people that matter and mean the most to their heart. Don't waste time doing things you don't want to do. Mm, I like that. That's, that's good advice. Stephanie uh, says, this is really hard. Customers have many ways to get in contact with me at all hours. Sometimes I leave the business phone at home or I turn it off. Then I feel guilty for not looking at, uh, you know, booking a party or, or whatever that came through. I know my marriage and kids need me too. Very murky waters. No closed business hours for small business owners. Is that the bottom line? There's no closed business hours? I mean, I, of the two of us, I keep my phone with me always. I have it, uh, it's turned on, plugged in next to my head when I sleep, just in case one of our customers decides they need us. And how much need is there it in the middle of the night? You never know. Well, give me an example of some need that has arisen in the middle of the night. One of our clients was working last night at 1.34 p or a.m. Okay. Okay. Sure. And she had to update her uh, membership in the uh, uh, Extreme Customer Service Directory. You know who you are. Had there gone something wrong, and that does happen on occasion, she may or may not have said, I need help. And that would be a, a situation where she might need help. But But did she? You can't do that. You you cannot predict the future by looking to the past and saying. I'm just asking. No, she didn't. She, she didn't. didn't. She, she didn't write. So me. I'm asking for an example. Yeah. Of of you know when in the middle of the night. How about not in the middle of the night? How about ten o'clock? Uh, that happens all the time. Our clients are reaching out for help mm. at ten o'clock p.m. You look at him. He's like got himself all like buffed up. I'm just it. telling you, your skepticism is unfounded. Katie says, until recently, it's been really hard for me to draw the line. I took what I call a deep breath vacation. I stayed the night and the following day 
um, on location and I felt refreshed. And However, it wasn't until the following evening when I went to a workshop that really changed things up. The two in succession helped me realize I can have it all. Within the past few days, I've been telling myself only positive things. Something bad happens and I turn it around, turn it around into a positive thought. I even implement it into getting things done and end up feeling more accomplished at the end of the day. I also don't overload myself anymore. I put the things that have to get done today at the top of my list and complete the first. That way, if I get more done, yay. Otherwise, I accomplish what I set out to do and the rest can be completed tomorrow. Some days we have to work until midnight, but that's not every day. Learning to take time for myself and balance work life, family life, and me is an ongoing process, but it is so worth it. So, uh, you know, talking about this topic, it was interesting. Um, it still is interesting. We have our first comment from uh, somebody watching the show. She says, I might have needed help. You never know. From the person who was working at 1.42 a.m. You know, I'm all for people are working at the hours that you want to work and you set your boundaries. Eric has none. And so this isn't about so much about being there for just in case you needed help. Eric has no boundaries. What are you talking and, about boundaries? And sets no boundaries against his work totally life. Totally have so boundaries. So he has none. Let me, let and, me. And, and, and is justifying that in the case. And I think that if any of our customers ever, or our members or advertisers truly ever needed something, you know, they're – they're not expecting a response at two o'clock in the morning. They're not expecting you to get up at two o'clock in the morning to help them. Now, do they love that you're available? Absolutely. Could they but call they know. me? They know. Eric has no boundaries, and I can call him in the no, middle no, of the no. night, and boundaries. he will reply. He will have this banter with me, and and then and then wave his peacock feathers at Angel in the morning, going, "Angel, wow, look we, what we I did!" All completely the slipped of the night. into the third person he again. Oh, that's you like, work on that. That's this is this is the theme today. Yeah, apparently. Violet says, here's, here's Violet's take on it. She says, last year I suffered a major burnout from running my business and decided to give myself a break. During this break, I set some boundaries for myself. And as time goes by, I try to stick with them, but at the same time, leave myself enough wiggle room that if I have an emergency or the perfect opportunity pops up unexpectedly, I can still move forward with my business and remain within my personal boundaries. I think somebody posted a clock. That says, by working hard eight hours a day, you may get to become the boss and work 12 hours a day. And he said, I thought this was funny and fitting. I need to work on the setting hours thing as well. I feel I'll miss an opportunity if I don't seize it right away. Mm. We're talking about does work-life balance exist? Uh, LaCestia writes and says, if it's outside my office hours from Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5. Oh, man, I'm jealous of hers. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Seriously. Seriously, when we get home and are done <laughs> at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. or We don't know what light, to do. The sun I, is up. The sun is up. I feel like I put in a half day. <laughs> <laughs> and I look around at all the people going, what do people do? Yeah. So she she finishes her thought. She says, uh, if it's outside my office hours, it waits until the next business day. Before, I would take calls and respond to emails no matter what time, but always in, in frustration. So now I stick to my rule. After hours are for family time. You know what? I think that people respect. If you've got other activities and things that you're doing, people completely respect that. Yeah. Um, you know, I spend, a, my weekends are my weekends and that's my family time and that's my downtime and I'm rarely accessible. I mean, I really don't even have my phone with me. And I think that people respect that. If you say, you know, I'm going, I'm volunteering at my kid's school or I've got a doctor's appointment or I'm having lunch with my mom or we're playing tennis, people totally respect that. Well, and, and you know, I also, uh, I live vicariously because I don't, don't have very many boundaries and I allowed you to be home with your family is much more. So than, I take uh, all this stuff from yeah. Eric and that's the yin and the yang. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right. Uh, cool, cool conversation. Thank you for participating on the line. Uh, we will be back with more positive business tips and insights coming next on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or 
Visit RivieraFinance.com. SharpNet Solutions has been optimizing websites for over 16 years, since before Google was even a company. Hi, this is Eric, and I want you to let that sink in for a moment. SharpNet Solutions has been helping hundreds of small businesses get found on the search engines since before Google became Google. They're one of the most affordable SEO firms in the country, and if you tell them Experience Pro sent you, you'll get up to 50% off of your SEO services. Still wonder if they can help you? Google Experience Pros. We use them. 303-900-4988. That's 303-900-4988 or sharpnetsolutions.com. Hi, this is Angel, and I want you to picture this. You're driving home after soccer practice. Your little girl is sitting in the back seat, and the radio is gently playing your favorite music. Your car is your world for the moment, and your world is safe because Nylon's Collision Center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month. N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. Tune in every Monday at 1135 for What's Going On with Jim Smith from Prudential. Jim will host a lively conversation about the financial and investment topics you're asking about. You can call Jim and his Prudential team directly at 303-769-9217. 303-669-9701 and tune in on Monday mornings right here on the Experience Pros radio show. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. You need more customers, and you need to keep the ones you already have. List That Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List That Save My Business is the book with easy-to-use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List That Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List That Save My Business today and grow your business the experience pros way. I'll never forget that moment. Never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. It started with a phone call. I got the text when I was at work. My first call up ever as a member of the National Guard. This was it. The real deal. When we got to the armory, they briefed us on the wildfires. How they were getting dangerously close to homes. It was amazing to be a part of this massive operation. Helicopters were going up with huge buckets to drop water on the fires. Some of the guys in the unit were preparing for firefighting with local fire crews. We went out in Humvees to help with the evacuations. At that moment, I got my first case from just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. Discover what it means to be a citizen soldier, to serve locally as well as globally. Look into the benefits including career skills and money for college. Take a moment. Go to NationalGuard.com today. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard, aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. John Rush, this afternoon from 3 to 6. Now back to Eric and Angel, the experience pros on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. 
Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. Time for business tips and insights. And uh, our good friend from the Colorado Micro Business Alliance is in the studio with us, Greg Bashaw. Welcome. Hi, guys. Glad to be here, as always. Well, we're pretty excited today. What are we talking about? Okay. So the tip for today has to do it's uh so we're doing the top 10 tips of things that i've learned over the years that uh Only that i 10? wish i had no known way back in the day and I, so to, I, I think a book is coming seriously <laughs> exactly so the tip today is to structure your business and then behave in a manner that reduces your personal liability okay well uh, my personal liability i think that's me I, I think I got a, I got a huge liability yeah, 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 sitting, yeah. sitting right here. What does that mean to reduce our personal liability in our business? Okay, so if you're not careful, you can set up your business by default in such a way that you are personally liable for all the debts of your business. But if you're careful and you do it right, you can avoid that. And so if for some reason things go sideways and, and creditors are knocking on your door. I'm not going to lose my house. You're not going to lose your house. You're not going to lose your car. You're going to lose those types of things. Yeah, my kid's right. college fund, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What are, what are we doing wrong? Okay, well, one thing is, is if you do nothing, you're still a business entity. And that business entity type is called a, is a, is a sole proprietorship. And if you're a sole proprietorship, you are co-equal with your business, meaning that, uh, that any of the debts of the business are also your personal debts. Now, here's, here's what a lot of people, I think people get that. And so they set up a an llc or they'll set up an s corp and they think okay cool we did it right. we, we we've done it we've set oh. we've set things up the right way right but Wait, that's what? not all that's not enough you still have to do some other things in order to separate yourself from that business so here here's three tips that you can do so let's right. say you've set up yourself as an llc you set up your business as an llc right. or as an s corp here are three things that you can do that you need to do number one is probably the most important thing and that is to completely separate your bank accounts and your books yes i agree with that one mm -hmm. yeah you should not be running your business out of the same checkbook you write your mortgage or pay for groceries right and, and, and i'll give you another example is if you get cash or you get a check that or you get some form of payment for your business right make sure it doesn't go to your personal bank account it all runs through your business bank account and that shows that you're not squishy that way that you've separated yourself from your business all right. money wise okay so number two the way you sign your contracts matters. So if you sign your contract in your own name, that's the wrong way to do it. Well, should I sign it in your I name? I was gonna say, I, but I think that sometimes creditors, they won't let you sign it. Uh, mm -hmm. they, want, they want that personal liability they they they're kind of they're kind of squishy about so that. so they want you to to maybe have a personal guarantee for any type of credit that's being extended to you right but you can still sign that contract on behalf of your company so there's two different questions oh, okay there. there's All the right. question of who they're extending the credit to and how you're signing the contract and Got so it. lease agreements other types of personal agreements uh, agreements with independent contractors you should sign on behalf of your business gonna need a bigger line yeah exactly right. those What's the third little, thing the, the few little words the third thing is is you can build up credit worthiness sign up for a dun and back brad street account so a dmb account or sign up for uh, a uh, open book ben account What's These are, open book ben? so that's just like a dnb okay. it's, a, it's a new version of a dmb where you build up credit for your business so that over time they can business businesses and vendors can go and look at your score and say you know we can give them credit because they've you know there up. was a there was a vendor that we were trying to do business with at one point and we had to have a dun and brad street number in order to do business with them it was right. one of the requirements which is why we ended up having one but up until then we had never been thought of it so this is great stuff um from the colorado micro business alliance i know you've got some seminars coming up in the colorado market do you want to mention those you bet so so September 8th in Parker at the uh, at the Performing Arts Center, and then September 9th in Westminster at the Rec Center, both begin at 4 p.m. We are talking exactly about this subject. Oh, it's so, so important. Yeah. So we have a we our presenter is an attorney. He's a Harvard Law guy. He's going to he's fabulous, and he's going to talk in depth and detail about how to do exactly. Yeah. These don't things. turn your head on this. Don't put your head in the sand. This is important, and and your tax liability too. It impacts how much you could save yourself a bundle in 
in taxes if you just set your business up appropriately. Greg, right? give your phone number, please. So you people can get 303-848-3232, or you can go to coloradomicrobusinessalliance.com. And they can sign up to become a member of the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. For $5 a month, $48 a year. I love it. coloradomicrobusinessalliance.com. Greg offers business tips here every single week on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Greg, thanks for coming in today. You bet. I love that. No, I, that makes me uh, glad that I have attorneys and everybody who are, are helping us stay on the straight and narrow. Well, there are a ton of resources. Don't go in it alone. You think that a sole prop, yes, it might be the easiest, um, kind of on the option. But there's a lot of tax benefits. There's a lot of liability. There's a lot of things you need to know. Go to the Extreme Customer Service Directory and find the resources that you need to grow a thriving business. Don't stay up at night. Don't panic about all this stuff. We have the resources. And if you are in Colorado and you are not yet taking advantage of being a member of the Colorado, Mi Colorado Micro Business Alliance, $48 a year, $5 a month, advocacy, business training, networking, all of that. Experience Pros is a member, and we encourage all of our members and all businesses in Colorado to join the Colorado Micro Business Alliance. Absolutely, absolutely. Folks, remember that experiencepros.com is your one-stop resource. You can find all kinds of information, including the archives of every show that we've ever done, uh, available under the Experience Pros Radio Show tab, and uh, get to know our national sponsors as well. Absolutely. And we're incredibly interactive online, on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Experience Pros. Follow us on Facebook. Like our Facebook page. Interact with us. We engage with our listeners. We share comments back and forth. You can share fun pictures. Talk about your business as well. Follow us at Experience Pros. Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. You, know, there's just, you have to work extra hard not to be able to contact us. But we want you to. I know. We want you to. We had Absolutely. some fun interaction with the new technology for we the did. video today. And, uh, yeah, it's all working. Absolutely. Uh, that two new technology that uh, Angel just referenced is uh, come hang out with us on the Google Hangout and ask us a question. Interact with us. We'd love to check that out. That uh, is posted at our Experience Pros Facebook page, the link to that page. We will be back right after uh, the top of the hour, information station ID, news break, and then another hour of positive business talk. <laughs> This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Steve Dace. Live, 1 to 3, on KLZ 560. I'm John Walsh. I'm Ed Smart. When a child is abducted, time is critical. That's why Amber Alert is so important. The public is notified when a child is abducted. It's a partnership between broadcasters, law enforcement, transportation, and you. Thanks for making Amber Alert happen. Freedom. Liberty. Truth. KLZ AM 560, KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at klz560radio.com. KLZ 560. USA Headline News. I'm Kelly Sloan, a county clerk in Kentucky who is continuing to deny marriage licenses to same-sex couples, says she's doing so under God's authority. Protesters gathered outside her office this morning, but some people were there to support Davis. Christianity is not something that we do, it's who we are. That was supporter Serena Smith. Davis could be held in contempt of court, and that can carry steep fines or jail time. Police in DeKalb County, Georgia, are calling in the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to look into a shooting last night that happened after police went to the wrong address on a 911 call one officer was critically wounded the homeowner was also shot gunfire erupted as soon as police entered through an unlocked back door officers did identify themselves uh, but what happened after that is yet to to be determined that was DeKalb County Director of Public Safety Cedric Alexander in a WSB interview this is USA headline news there are two types of water heaters thankless and tankless. The thankless kind work like this. Mom, I'm throwing in a load of laundry. Whoa, hold off on that. I'm hopping in the shower. Is this a good time to turn on the dishwasher? This is not a good time to turn on the dishwasher. 
Renai's tankless water heaters, on the other hand, work this way. I'm throwing in a load of laundry. No problem. I'm hopping in the shower. Renai's innovative tankless water heaters provide an endless supply of hot water whenever you need it, even for multiple tasks at the same time. Plus, they feature a space-saving design and ultra-efficient performance for monthly energy savings. So enjoy hot water that's always ready when you are. Is this a good time to turn on the dishwasher? Go for it. And never discourage your children from washing dishes again. Renai Tankless Water Heaters, the hot way to heat water. Learn more about Renai's industry-leading products at www.renai.us. That's R-I-N-N-A-I dot U-S. Hey, everybody. It's Eric and Angel from the Experience Bros Radio Show. That's coming up next. Well, we got a lot of stuff going on on the calendar today. Actually, not too bad. It's, it's actually looking pretty clear. If you look at the calendar, um, you can go to experiencepros.com, click on the calendar tab, or just scroll down to where you see the big calendar. A lot of white space. I think a lot of our members are, are taking a little breather this month. Welcome to day one of September. All right. Well, there are some fun. There are some fun things going on. Of course, our recurring events. We're doing an epic networking up in Loveland on the third Tuesday on right. September fifteenth. The third Wednesday will be in Lone Tree at the Fox and the Hound for epic networking. On uh, the sixteenth, we'll be in Westminster for the Boom Networking Boom. on September 28th. There's some fun little uh, workshops and, and fun little things going on there, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, if you are a member, you also have access to a number of other member-specific trainings and things like that, and you wanna make sure you do check that calendar. If you're not a member, why not? Sign up and participate. We have the most fun supporting local members. It's a it's an incredible group. It's a great community. We support each other. We lift each other up. Lots of fun marketing campaigns built in. And you get to participate in our Wall of Fame contest. I love the Wall of Fame because what we do is, is the person who gets the most fan brags, the business that gets the most fan brags in, uh, in a given calendar month, we celebrate them, we put them on the Wall of Fame, and then we announce them like right now. Right now. So we're announcing our August Wall of Fame winner is Sabina Claus. Sabina Claus. Sabina Claus. Over 17 years of experience experience coaching businesses, coordinating events, and maintaining accountability partner relationships. She helps businesses grow to the next level. She is awesome. She's incredible. She received a ton of fan brags in the month of August. She's well-connected. She is well-connected. Yeah. What does that mean? That means she knows everybody. If you want to get to know Sabina, you're going to know everybody in business. You Absolutely. She is incredibly uh, well-networked. Sabina Claus, your business coach, consultant, and accountability partner. You can find her online at sabinaclaus.com. And that's C-L-A-U-S dot com. You can give her a call at 303-906-2244 and go online to the Extreme Customer Service Directory. Read all of the fun reviews. She's also offering a special experience pros um, discount if you look at the offer on her Extreme Customer Service oh, Directory listing. Uh, register online at all of her events, sabinaclaws.eventbrite.com. Congratulations, Sabina. We're very happy that you are now a member of the Wall of Fame. Well, uh, Gosh, lots of things going on. And I know you say there's not a lot. But I know I, you keep saying lots. It looks like a lot to me. How does that look like a lot to you? Well, uh, do you see all that white space in there? Do you see there's days that doesn't have anything on it at all? You know, members, you can post your events on our calendar as well. And apparently some of y'all are slacking. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe we're just kind of easing into this, you know, this month. Hmm. You don't think so? It's you think, you think it? You think the events are actually happening. They're just not posted. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Maybe, maybe people just uh, are a little slow. I don't we'll think see. so. No, Coming up next, the Experience Pros Radio Show. Buckle up. Hi, this is Scott Watley. Join me weekdays from noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. We'll help with consumer problems, give you quality business referrals, let you know about the latest scams, and we'll also give great help for seniors. Weekdays, noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. Check out our website, Haystack Help Radio. Com. Rush to Reason with John Rush this afternoon at 3. Now back to the Experience Pros on KLZ 560.
You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best selling authors of Lists That Save My Business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. So nice to have you along. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business really is our business. What do you think? What do I think of what? Well, I don't know. I just did that whole intro thing. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Is it different? Well, I used the word really. Oh, oh, it right. was different. Really it was, is. It was, it, your business really is. Really is. I, I did notice the emphasis over there. Yeah. Because the it wasn't slabble. really before, mm -hmm. but it really is now. It really is now. I'll take it. Yep. Hey, uh, did you um, did you see a Superman flying around? Uh, no, it was a bird. No, was it a plane? <laughs> was he able to leap tall buildings in a single bat? <laughs> Thank you. Does anybody remember those? I mean, that that goes a long time ago. Uh, in London, a cape superhero of comic book lore was caught patrolling the streets of London. Superman. Superman. In the sky. Yes. How? Drones. Drones like like so, a drone that looks like a Superman? Yep. Now that's fun. Right? That is fun. Yeah. They uh they, they were saying, wow, that looks really cool. Superman's flying around by drone and remote control. And he was um, you know, making London safe. Making London safe because yeah. Superman's flying around in the sky. Do, right. do people feel safer? I don't know the answer. To that I don't part. know safer is uh is necessarily the reaction, but fun. That is fun. I mean, if you're going to make a drone, right? make it into something really fun and clever. And Well, in, in another, uh, er, earlier we talked a little bit about the, uh, the, just, the drone that, that now allows people to fly. Because as, yeah, it was so heavy. It was so, 54, so big. And it just had a person in it. But it just looked like one of the original things, like, you know, from like Orville and Wilbur. Like from the Wright brothers, right. you know, something with just like sticks and like bailing wire and duct tape. You know it wasn't. What? You know what does not look anything like what Orville and Wilbur did? What? In Philadelphia, uh, naked bicyclists. Yeah, they 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 all just uh, jumped on their bikes and took off their clothes and. Oh, yeah, they, they, go. they do that. They mm -hmm. do that all across uh, all. Now all some of them cities. took pity on most of us. Mercy maybe is the right word, and uh, they they used some uh, body paint. Oh, how fun! Right? Yeah, you know, again, making it fun. I. I'm always interested at the beginning of the race. So does everybody show up fully clothed and then they do like their Superman thing and they Superman thing well, like the know, drone. Well, you know, like shed their clothes. Shed their clothes. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't at, there at the start of the event. You have to show up naked. 12 you miles. Get naked once you're there. Well, I'm pretty sure and at you what get point in trouble. Do you put your clothes back on. I don't know. Because you can be naked only like during the bike ride. So many questions. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, those weren't the questions you at all were asking. Was, no, was I just you know I just wanted to be a traffic cop or something. You know, uh, twelve mile trek through the city of brotherly love. Um, lots of people do this stuff. I didn't know that. You didn't know that. No. Are you missing out? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Do, you wish you had a bicycle now, don't you? <laughs> it's like now, here's a reason for me to have a bicycle. I'm, I'm not so I do sure a twelve mile. I would idea. think. I think that'd be a little hard on the tushy. Um. Well, just I mean, softer. Right? Seat. I mean, you wear bicycle shorts with all the padding and all that. So now you don't have the padding. I, I, I would think it'd be a little tough on the tushy. Speaking of drones. Again? Yeah. What is it? What do you have drones? There's news? a thing going on in Kansas. Farmer has taken all the fun out of fishing because he's fishing by drone. He's raising and lowering his drone with the uh, fishing line attached. And is he catching anything? Yeah. Is he catching a really big fish? I, I don't once know. caught a fish. It was this big. Yeah, I don't know about that. But it's kind of... Are you into fishing? Um, I used to be. It's taking the sport out of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It's not a true no, fisherman. No. I'm going to have to ask my True fisherman, you got to wrap that line around your finger once or twice and uh, have a beer in the other hand and take a nap. And take a nap. Right. Yeah, he's taking all the, all the sportsmanship. Yeah. Out of the fishing, I can tell. That's what I'm hearing. That's, yeah. You have no idea. I don't know. I'll ask my dad. I don't have a drone. You want one? No. 
No. No. It's like a video game. It's got two little controllers, and uh, I start getting nervous. And, and no. Mm. No, but they are in the news, and they are kind yeah. of fascinating, and it'll be interesting to see. I'm telling you, that's how commuters are going to commute now. He is. He's decided that yep. no hover cars. We're all going to be flying around in drones. It's way easier to accomplish. I don't think so. I just you don't, don't need license don't. size. It, you, you, yeah. you, there's no windshield. There's no protection against the weather. There's no headlights on it. I, there, it's got a long way Yet. to go. It's got a long way to go. Yeah. Before I think people want to. Pretty sure windshield. in their cars and their seatbelts. Quick modification. And their radio systems and their air conditioned seats to drive around in a in a drone. Hmm. Don't you think? No, I don't know. You know what I think? I think it's time for business tips and insights. I think we can stop all the drone talk and go to business tips, bringing in our friend Sandy Corrigan from Keller Williams. Sandy, welcome to the show. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. And guess what? Tell me. I have a riddle for you guys. I love riddles. So today we're going to talk about strategies of extraordinary people. So I'm going to have you guess who this is. Those are multisyllabic words. I know. You can do okay. it, Eric. It's okay. I'll try. So he was bullied for his faith when he was a kid. Eric. His poor grades kept him out of his first college pick. Eric. He was willing to be an unpaid intern. Totally me. Dropped out of college to pursue his passion. Mm -hmm. Forbes published recently that his estimated personal net worth is in excess of $3 billion. You've been holding out on me. Whoops. Where are you hiding it? I just jumped track. Oh. He directed TV episodes like Marcus Welby, MD. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. Any guesses? No. Uh -uh. His wife's name is Kate. Kate, 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 Kate. Oh. Is it Tom Cruise? No. Oh. He is famous for movies like The Color Purple and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Steven? Yes. Spielberg? Extraordinary Steven Spielberg. Would you have oh, guessed that that was in his background? No. No, you kind of just figured, you know, he'd always been into, you know, was popular kid, always involved in some creative arts and well-liked. and Three billion wow. dollars? Yes. But wow. So there's hope for us, right? There's hope for us. Oh, it's like that's a titanic true. amount of money. Yes. A titanic amount. Yes, thank you. Well, no, not a titanic. That sinks. Oh. Uh, yeah. So maybe a different ship. The movie, didn't. like a cruise line. Yeah, he did. The movie floated. Yeah, he yeah. Didn't do that. He did. Yeah, they made a lot of oh. money on that. Oh, James Cameron, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna challenge you guys to see how extraordinary you are, and I create a little quiz. Okay, okay. okay. So you get to rate yourself. Okay, okay. and so do the. Can listeners. I rate Angel and she can rate? Nope, me. you oh. got to rate yourself. All right. Okay, so you're gonna give yourself a one if you're on the lower end of extraordinary okay. and a okay. 10 if you're extraordinary. All, All right. right. All right. So the first one is you use unconventional approaches and wisdom. So give yourself a score. Anything from one okay. to 10. All right. Okay. You have outrageous faith in your dreams. Uh, yes. You set outrageous goals. Yes. You think without limits. Okay. You are extremely learning based and naturally curious. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you laughing? Because Angel just gave herself a 12. <laughs> not. You know who you are and who you are not. Mm. You go fast and fail often. You live a life of practice. You look at feedback as the breakfast of champions, even negative feedback. I know, I hate it, but it's, but it's, yeah, you got it. And necessary. then my personal favorite, you recognize that you are your best investment and accelerate your learning and success through coaches and mentors who assist you in creating your plan and holding you accountable. Oh, so okay. add up your score. Okay, all right. All right well, hold on here. Okay. I need some fingers and toes okay. here. Carry the five. And as you're adding it up, I'm going to start to tell you uh, what your score means. All right. Okay, okay you ready? Yep. Yes. So zero to 20 you're pretty much asleep. Oh. You are not awake. 30 to 50, you are okay with ordinary. You're oh. like, you can wear media, mediocre on your name badge. Oh, Heck. I know people like that though. But 60 to 80, you are achieving at more than ordinary levels. And if you are 90 to 100, you are truly extraordinary. Wait, you said 60 to 80. What happened to 80 to, 80 and 80 to 90? Um, I just, uh, yeah, well, you go 60 to 80, and then the next jump, if you're going to, yeah, so 80 to 100. Okay, because I landed at 85. You're right. I was at 85. I landed at 85. Okay, like, so you are almost extraordinary. Almost. So what are you going to work on this week out of these 10 things to be more extraordinary? What, Actually, there was, was thing there, number there were some things in there that I thought, okay, six. Um, taking the feedback, thinking, um, 
uh, it was like the third one. No, the fourth one. So you you um you think without limits. Think without limits. I, so you had a little pause there. What was, did, the, right? what was the seventh one? The seventh, you go fast and fail often. Uh, because people who succeed at extraordinary levels fail a lot more. So we just got to fail more too. I fail forward. To yeah, not be afraid fail. to fail. Yes. Not be afraid to make the mistake. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Invest in yourself. In yourself. And get coaches and mentors more than one. Sandy, how do people contact you? 303-907-1010. 303-907-1010. Or find me on Facebook or, or Twitter or LinkedIn at Sandra Corrigan. And I'd love to help you be extraordinary. You are extraordinary. You are extraordinary. And invest in yourself. Invest in Sandy. That phone number one more time. 303-907-1010. She is love all it. over the internet. Sandra Corrigan, helping you live what is it? Live a life you careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living. And we'll be right back after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Show. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. Ugh, computers. We can't live a moment without them. My friend sent me an email recently saying she was having 99 problems and 97 of them were because of email and technology. I hate it when it doesn't work, but I'm stuck with how to get past the lockups, the slow retrieval, and lost data. This is what Binkley IT specializes in all your computer quirks and hangups. They'll take care of you, and often they can do it remotely. Call our friends at Binkley IT and solve your IT puzzle one piece at a time. Call 720-254-1057, 720-254-1057. And if your computer is still working, look them up online at binkleyit.com. Boom! That's what you're looking for out of your professional networking events, and that's what Boom delivers. Create great business relations and build power partner connections the fourth or fifth Monday of the month at Bar Louie in Westminster from 6 to 8 p.m. Every event is sold out, so get your tickets for the next one today at BoomColorado.com. That's BoomColorado.com. Want more? How about quarterly training seminars? Boom! Network with great people. BoomColorado.com. Dude, your wife's hot. I know, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you, your wife's hot. Will someone please call Bowman Heating and Air? It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about their preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. Bowman. HVAC.com. Get your vehicle back in the showroom condition of the most comprehensive auto detail from Bumper Dock Denver. They remove tree sap and pollutants from your car's painted surfaces. Minor scratches are cleaned up with a high speed polish, and the glaze finish is applied to restore a deep shine. Bumper Dock Denver understands that your vehicle is more than just a mode of transportation, it reflects your business. No matter what you drive, you get fast, friendly, honest service to protect your auto investment and bring out the full beauty of your car. 303 369 7292 or Bumper Dock Denver.com. When your IT person says your VPN's PPTP failed because the IP conflict caused a protocol failure, all you seem to hear is blah, blah, money, money, blah, blah, last time. We're C-Squared Computer Consulting. We speak geek fluently, but we translate when talking to you. When you understand the issues, you can better prioritize your money and time. Our managed services provide a stable spending model with system monitoring and trust. Call C-Squared Computer Consulting today at 303-933-1113 or go to c2cc.net. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. 
John Rush during the afternoon rush today at three. Now back to the experience pros on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is time to talk to our good friend, Jack Loudon from Riviera Finance. And you, you don't know Riviera Finance. You don't know Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, guys. How are you? Fantastic. Doing fantastic. What's our business tip today? Well, um, you know, we like to talk ta cash flow, and I know... Uh, Eric, your cash flow must be uh, down a little bit. Congratulations, because you uh, uh, because of the wedding. Because of the wedding, yeah, so yeah. your cash flow must be very low. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I know how much those cost. We, we, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. It's not my daughter; it was my son. But uh, I'm going to I'm going to say uh, we we certainly felt it in the, in the bottom line. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Oh, I have daughters, so yeah. <laughs> oh, you really felt it, right? You really felt so it. So, talk about cash flow in a business sense. Uh, well, Riviera Finance will help businesses with their cash flow by purchasing their current outstanding receivables and advance them the cash up front. And then we wait to get paid. Smart. And my business tip is kind of going to follow up on what Greg was talking earlier uh, a couple of segments ago when he talked about contracts and things like that with your business owner. So I'll ask the business owner, do you have a service agreement in place with your customers or is it just a handshake? No, what what constitutes a service agreement? Well, I mean, if you are in a service industry, or you know, and you're providing a service, goods or services, whatever, do you have an agreement in place that spells out the scope of the work that you're providing? That the payment time frame, if you're going to bill on credit, if it's net thirty due upon receipt or what? So you have something with your client that is. Right, something you know, to back it out. up that says these are the terms and everybody's agreed to these terms. Right, because when I want to help a customer, help a client, my client, uh, I'm going to ask them, do you have an agreement in place? Right. Because I want to know when we're going to get paid back. Is it I'm advancing you the money, right. Angel, as an example, and I'm going to say, Angel, you're providing a service to ABC company. What are your terms? Because your terms become our terms. But I need to know what those terms are. All right. So, Jack, can I just put uh, net 30 on, uh, on a receipt and call it good? You can, but, you know, it's almost like a handshake, isn't it? Well, it's a piece of paper. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere it says at something. At least it's an Nobody email. signed it except you. Right. Yeah. All right. See, this uh, is why you are you are so good at helping businesses grow. It isn't just about helping us with our cash flow, or helping us, you know, paying off those accounts receivables earlier and collecting that those funds. But you're actually helping us with our business practices to help us to be a sustainable, growing company. Right. And then the next thing with that service agreement that you have in place, do you have backup? Is the work signed off on? Because when I call and say, hey, just checking on the status of, of invoice one, two, three, um, and if they go, well, we're not paying that invoice, I'm going to say, why? Well, the work wasn't done right. Mm. Well, I have something here that says it was accepted oh. and the work was done right. <laughs> oh, and it's in writing and we have it all, which is, which is, again, more solid business practices. And I think as we are growing, some of these things slip through the cracks, sure, Jack. Right. So this is why you it's... You get so excited about getting, get, just getting the work. Right? Yeah, I'm like, oh, and we do the work. Terms first. That was a Terms phrase we had to learn early on. First. Terms first. Riviera Finance is an invoice factoring company since 1969. They have 23 offices throughout the U.S. and Canada. Jack is located here in Colorado. How do folks in Colorado get in touch with you? 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Jack, you always bring such great stuff. Uh, thank you so much for, for contributing and, and hanging out with us. Yeah, and uh, please check out our website. We enjoy being here, rivierafinance.com. We're also on Facebook, uh, Riviera Finance, and you can learn. We put a lot of business tips on the Facebook as well. You really do. Good for business. Well, yeah, absolutely. Riviera Finance is, uh, of course, with us uh, as a national sponsor. And you can contact them anywhere in the country, 800-872-7484, 800-872-7484. Find them at rivierafinance.com and grow your business with Riviera Finance. And if you don't know Riviera Finance, you don't know Jack. Jack, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, guys. We sure appreciate you. My gosh, he's a good guy. Well, he's just helping us grow every single day.
Now we're going to turn our attention over to our business coach extraordinaire. You know her. You love her. It's Carrie Connolly from Infinite Nation. Hi, Carrie. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? We're just doing fantastic. fantastic. What are we talking about? You know, I just had an amazing weekend retreat with the people that I coach. And one of the things we talked about that's super important is becoming a really solid leader in your personal life and in your business life. Um, you know, we talked about a lot of qualities that, I'm, that we really have to, you know, personally look at, our, look at ourselves in the mirror and say, okay, I need to kind of get better at that so that I can influence people easier, attract clients faster. And so I thought I would just give kind of the top three from the list. Is that okay with you guys? Absolutely. We'd love to hear them. Okay. Number one, and this is, a, this is one of those ouch kind of things. You have to be absolutely consistent in your personal life and in your business activity. It's so hard for people to do that. You know, they get. Do, do you mean that we have to like uh, be, be the same on, on both sides of the equation? I mean, I've got a Facebook personal profile and I got a Facebook business profile. You know, it, it does have to do with profile, but it also has to do with how you're showing up. So what I mean by being consistent is, uh, you know, uh, we talk a lot about networking as a small business owner, right? And there are a lot of events that we go to every month to build that reputation. What I see a lot of business owners sometimes do, especially in the beginning, is that they get really excited about going one month and then they might not show up for another two months. Right. Right. So they're very inconsistent with their um, their reputation, take the hit because they're now um, sending out a message that they only show up when they're looking for clients and they're not necessarily a team player. Gotcha. Okay. Right? So consistency is number one. What's the next one, Carrie? Number two is learning how to manage your thoughts, your actions, and most importantly, your emotions. So many of us have days, you know, you just have those days where you're kind of in a funk, you're a little bit tired, you're just not feeling it, and so you decide, again, to go a little MIA for a while, or you decide to act on the emotion, or maybe say something you shouldn't have said, um, or just absolutely unplug from your activity. And I think the best thing I learned early on in my first um, career with how to learn how to uh, manage my emotions so that it doesn't drive my activity. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Right? Right. That's just smart because yeah, your emotions are going to take the best out of you and your business will suffer for it. All right. What's number exactly. three, Carrie? Number three. And you know, this is my whole thing. My whole reputation is around having a vision. You got to have a plan, Stan. Amen. And I mean, not just rolling around in your head. I kind of got this thing going on. I mean, who wants to follow a wishy-washy leader that says, Hey, I'm kind of trying this business out. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to pay for your hobby. Right. You need to be able to look people in the face and say, this is exactly who I am. This is what I stand for. This is where I'm going. I have a plan mapped out. Who wants to come with me? That's leadership. Well, and that's what you get when you work with Infinite Nation. Carrie, how do our listeners get in touch with you? Best way is to go to my website, infinitenation.com. InfiniteNation.com. Sign up for some of her upcoming events. Check out her mastermind group. And then make sure you put the date of January 14th through 16th in your calendar to join us in Phoenix for Vision is a Victory. Carrie, thanks so much for being our guest today. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You know, we will have a good day. That's the truth. We love uh, getting getting Carrie, uh, having Carrie get us in line. We love that a lot. Um, you know, I, I like this segment because uh, you get Jack, you get Carrie, and now you get the pros. It's all good. It it's is. everything you need to grow your business. Do business with the folks that support the Experience Pros radio show. They're the reason we are on the air, and they're here to help you grow your business. They are the resources that you need. They've been handpicked by us. When we come back, seven easy ideas to improve your blog next. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top-level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at Colorado Micro Business Alliance. 
The Extreme Customer Service Directory is the go-to place for finding the companies who have the best customer testimonials. Plus, to make it even easier, we narrow down the field to only three companies in your area. If you need a printer in the metro area, we have it. If you need ink and toner, we have it. The Extreme Customer Service Directory is one of the most visited directories in the state, and it's all yours to view for free at experiencepros.com. Experiencepros.com for the best in customer service. When you're looking for the best, think Experience Pros. You can feel good about doing business with the pros. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? You're not alone. Sandy Corrigan has a system that helps people create careers worth having, businesses worth owning, that results in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. Friends, this is Eric, and I want to turn you on to a fantastic bi-monthly patriotic newsletter I've discovered. It's called The Pen, and it's a compilation of numerous patriotic writers packed with political information that you won't find in the newspaper. Contact my friend Beth Ann for a free sample copy at csctalkradio.com or send $24.95 to P.O. Box 73, California, Missouri, 65018 to receive The Pen for an entire year. The Pen promoting liberty and keeping patriots informed. Subscribe today, csctalkradio.com. That's csctalkradio.com. Dove Valley Storage has your affordable storage solutions for RVs, boats, cars, or construction equipment. Covered units you can own or rent at unbelievable prices. There's no other product like this in Colorado, and they're offering them at a fraction of the price of owning an RV garage or man cave. Hurry and call Kim today. They're going fast for fall delivery. 720-201-4062. That's 720-201-4062. Or check them out online, dovevalleystorage.com. They've got you covered. You're busy, but are you really achieving the dreams you thought you would? Infinite Nation knows that when your vision is big enough, you can create infinite success. Request your free vision check phone call with award-winning vision coach, Carrie Conley. Discover how easy it is to achieve your infinite success. Call 720-331-8693, 720-331-8693, and check out the Vision is Victory workshop online at infinitenation.com. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that Save My Business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business today and grow your business the experience program. Roseway. Hi, I'm a shovel. Take it from me. Calling 811 before you dig gets your underground utility lines marked for free. It prevents outages, legal hassles, and injury. I should know. Call 811 because safe digging is no accident. <laughs> The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. He was a hard man. He was brutally handsome. 
Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. If you feel like you're going in life in the fast lane in your business, you just may have a chip on your shoulder, mister. Do you remember, do you remember hearing about the Google, the mobile Gedney? Oh, yeah, yeah. A mobile Gedney. You, know, you right. had this deadline. You had to get your website. Everything had to be mobile friendly because if you weren't, your business wouldn't be found. People couldn't find you on, you know, using their tablets and their right. smart devices. And now it's almost like this this little chip again is happening in business. Let's tell you what we're talking about, folks. The, the chip that we're mentioning has nothing to do with a chip on your shoulder. It's not a chip again. It's actually the chips that all of your credit cards are going into uh, going going to change uh, effective October 1st. October 1st is the deadline. You've probably heard about it, especially if you already are accepting credit cards in your business, but it, there's a liability shift that is happening and it all takes place October 1st. And if you're a small business owner, you can get a little freaked out if you don't know what's going on, but you don't have to lose sleep over it. Right. We are just here to kind of help you get your infrastructure in place so that you reduce the liability when uh, credit card fraud, if it happens in your business. So here's some things that um, there is a new, you know, we're kind of phasing out the magnetic strips on the credit cards, right? Right. Because those are so easy to be fraudulent and to duplicate and to steal somebody else's credit card. True. And, and as the business owner, Right now, the credit card company is taking the liability on that. If somebody uses a fake credit card right. or not their own credit card to buy something from you, the credit credit card company has been taking on that responsibility. But beginning October 1st, that liability is shifting over to the small business. So what this means is if you take a fraudulent card and you don't have the technology, what they're calling the EMV technology. Now, if you have the EMV technology and you take a fraudulent card. They're still going to protect you. But if you don't have the technology to take the smart card, you're cheap. Then you are going to be held responsible for the fraudulent amount, and that can be really costly to absolutely, a small business. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so here's what's actually happening, and I found an article from Square, which is well, they take they take cards. credit cards, you yeah. know, and they've got the little swipey thing, which is now we're not going to do the swipey thing. No, anymore, we're going right? to do the insert thing. We're going to do the insert thing. So yeah. here's the story. Starting October 1st, you could be held liable for certain types of frauds if you aren't set up to accept the EMV technology. Because chip cards are coming, and they're, they're, they've they're been in Europe for a very long time, but uh, you've probably received one from your bank already. If you haven't, you will this month. And your customers will soon be uh, will soon expect to be able to pay with them, but you have to have uh, a card reader. You do, and so the the new cards are more secure than those that have the bank stripes, and the banks are phasing out the magnetic striped cards. Yep. So it's a nation. Nationwide, we're all in this together initiative towards reducing fraud, which is a good thing. Sure. It's here to protect us. I mean, how many of us constantly monitoring our cards, getting um, phone calls from our banks saying there's been some fraudulent activity? I mean, it's happening all the time. Now, here's the thing. It's not actually a law that you have to to have to have it. No. Um, but it is still a really good idea because the credit card company doesn't have to be responsible responsible for the payment of it anymore. Here's the deal. Sad, but it happens. And so I decide, well, I, it's it's too expensive. I can't get involved. I don't want to do all that. Don't want to go through the hassle. Uh, eventually, you will be forced to switch over. But if you decide not to, the liability is all on you. And when fraud does happen, it could be very, very expensive for you. The good news is that many, many of the uh, terminals available are already switching over. They're already switching over. So chances are your merchant provider has already sent you information. If they read it, look up on it, follow up with your merchant provider and follow the rules for the new EMV technology. And, and I think for small businesses, we've been putting it off. Yes, it's been coming. We've been putting it off and not paying attention. This is the time right now to make sure that you are on board Order in your new EMV readers, yeah. the new technology. Um, in many cases, they're being provided by your merchant providers very inexpensively. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Square made its, its reputation on the fact that it gave away those uh, swipey doohickeys for free. They right? did. Well, uh, they, they're updating that. Uh, you can 
order one of these uh, EMV readers, and it's a, you know you insert the card in, it goes into your cell phone just like the other ones did. Um, it's forty nine dollars, but it comes with a forty nine dollar uh, free processing. So it essentially pays for itself. Right, because you've got to pay for the new technology, sure. right? They can't just start sending out hundreds it's and a thousands computer. of these. And so you can order one if you do the square, if you do any kind of those mobile reader technology. Again, if whoever your merchant provider is, is providing this technology to you. But you as the small business owner, it is your responsibility to go out and to get it and to train your staff on, on how to use it because those mags, Stripes, they, I mean, if somebody brings you an old, an old credit card, there will still be some and you'll have that transition. But eventually, the banks aren't even going to issue those anymore. Right. So if that's your only means of taking a credit card, you won't, you won't be able to do that anymore. Yep. And uh, they're moving into the, the wireless stuff too. You can, uh, you know, a little Apple Pay tap. I know. Have you tried that? No. Why, why so quick on I'm the I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? I don't know. <laughs> it's cell phones. The boogeyman? Maybe. You you are always the first one to want to adopt uh, I like technology. New te I love technology um, when it doesn't cost me money. I mean, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that it can be hacked. I'm afraid that uh, the wireless... I don't know! Leave me alone. Let's talk <laughs> about the next point. Okay. okay. Well, I think we covered it. Okay. I think we covered it. So you need to to learn how to accept the cards. You need to get the your hands on an EMV reader and just read about that li uh, liability shifts. And there's some myths about the liability shift. And the first one we actually already covered um, is that it is actually not a law. Take it, right. switch over. However, the credit card companies have been warning you and telling you and leading up to it, and they have changed their positioning on it. Yeah. And if you don't have the technology to accept it, they don't have to pay for the fraudulent. It's not a law yet. All right. Uh, where are my myths? The six myths about it. So upgrading um, is a law. That's not true. Myth number two, upgrading is expensive. No. It is not. Um, in fact, many of your merchant providers are just providing the new technology. Right very inexpensively and for example the square reader is $49 but it comes again with that free $49 processing once you implement myth number three once you implement the EMV you cannot take mag strip card mag stripe cards but that's not true no nope. um, you can still take the mag stripe cards you are protected because you have the ability to take the EMV technology the chip cards there you go but as those cards are phased out with the magnetic stripe on the back it's going to be harder to, it's to take those. It's going to be harder for you to take them. Yeah. Um, and then myth number four, you had to install a pin pad to accept EMV cards, which is not true. You do not need a pin pad to accept the chip cards. Okay. Um, they'll sign it the same way they did with the MagStripe tra tra transaction. Nice. Um, myth number five, the liability shift applies to all fraudulent charges at your business. Now, this one's a bit complicated, yeah, they say. Yeah, carry the three. So many people think that the liability shift will make you responsible for all fraud at your business, but that's not the case. It only applies to the subset, which is card present counterfeit EMV fraud. So essentially that means that if a fraud, fraudster, is that a, a word? fraudster, fraudster yes. pays with a counterfeit EMV card and you process it as a mag stripe transaction, then you're held liable. If you have any questions about this and you're looking at the uh, the Google Hangout right now as we're doing this live, feel free to ask a question. We'd be happy to, uh, now, to see if we, we can answer We are not it. experts on merchant services and merchant merchant provide oh, you know, heck all no. of that. But this isn't new. We've been talking about right. this technology. Our friends over at Merchant Savers, Mary Beth Stenzel, and you can find her on our directory, Extreme Customer Service Directory, has been talking about this for almost a year. Absolutely. Letting us know that it's coming, prepping your small business. It's going to protect you because think about the fraudulent charges that are happening are trickling down to the small business and to the consumer. We need to stop it. We need to stop it so that we can, I mean, there's a lot of money being wasted Absolutely. In, these, in this fraudulent activity. So this is good for our business. It's just a shift and know that that shift takes place shift on October happens. 1st. Yeah. Yeah. Was and, there any other myths? Uh, that it that it's something new, oh. and it isn't. No, all right. Um, actually, they've been. It's the EMV has been the standard in the rest of the world for decades. 
decades. Well, you know, Why are we behind on this one? Um, gosh, that I, one doesn't make any sense. I probably have some other things to say about that. But, but again, I you know, we don't like change. We fear change. And <laughs> Eric's like top of the list on that. Well, one. you know, you, ah, just because of the cell phone, the, the Apple Pay. I, um, I'm a big Apple guy. I love, I love the that. Shake to Pay thing. That rocks. The what? Shake to Pay. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna look that up during the, uh, the the break. We'll be right back. This is Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You've got a great business, lots of customers, and a catchy tagline. Things are going great, right? Has it ever occurred to you that if you are doing so well in your business, someone else might be trying to copy or steal your concept and make it their own? It happens every day. But don't let it happen to you. You need attorney Steve Replin on your side. Much more than just a lawyer, Steve is a business consultant who knows how to protect what's yours while helping you grow it to success. Call Steve today and CYA. That's cover your assets. 303 322 303-322-7919. Hi, this is Angel, and I want you to picture this. You're driving home after soccer practice. Your little girl is sitting in the back seat, and the radio is gently playing your favorite music. Your car is your world for the moment, and your world is safe because Nylon's Collision Center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month. N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. Attention business owners. If you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706 or visit rivierafinance.com. The top five search results get 75% of all the clicks. 75%. That means if you're on page two, you are missing out on tons of potential business. You, my friend, are in need of professional help. At SharpNet Solutions, it's not all about clicks. It's about making sales. They optimize the Experience Pro's Extreme Customer Service Directory, and they can optimize your business. Call them today, 303-900-4988. That's 303-900-4988. Or find them online at sharpnetsolutions.com. Put their talents to work and see what they can do for you. 303-900-4988. Mention the experienced pros and get up to 50% off. Call today. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. I'll never forget that yeah. moment. As long as I live. It was a moment. It was a moment that changed my life. We looked down from the chopper and saw the whole area was flooded. At that moment, it really hit me. This is why I joined the guard. People had gone up to the rooftops to escape the rising waters. Talk about intense moments. We had to lower the guys on line some 30 feet down. This is where teamwork and training really paid off. It took steady nerves and steady hands for the chopper pilots to hover like that. No question. 
Guard pilots are the best in the world. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. What could be better than serving the people of my hometown? In the National Guard, you serve your community as well as your country while you work or attend college. In return, you gain skills in which you can build a career and receive benefits that can help you pay for college. Learn more about what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Colorado National Guard. Aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. Just selecting good investments and fund managers may not prepare you for the retirement income you need. There are five important, less obvious decisions. Learn these five decisions and how to make them. Tune in to America's Wealth Management Show, sponsored locally by Life Certain Wealth Strategies, here on KLZ 560 every Saturday morning from 9 to 10. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. You know, uh, your business is a valuable asset. It's a big investment in your future. Why don't people protect it better? Well, probably the same reason why we put off insurance, like life insurance and all those kinds of things and retirement. You know, we just... We Speaking think- of which, stop it. We think that it's fine and it's going to be fine or we've got time and we put things off, right? When was the last time you went for your six-month dental checkup, you know? Was it more than six <laughs> months ago? Then don't make it personal. Though. Right? We, we do. We put things off. We never think anything bad is going to happen, which is nice, right? Very optimistic. And but, completely inaccurate. Well, th- there are just some things you can, you, you know, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail, Correct. right? Correct. And so there are some necessary pieces that we need to have in our personal life and in our business to protect ourselves. And we found a fun little article on six best practices on protecting your business. Now, here's the thing. If you have a physical storefront and you don't have a top-notch security solution, you know, I'm talking about cameras and video recorders, at the very least an alarm system. Um, boy, oh boy, do you need to give that a second thought. And there are some people who say, oh, I got cameras, I got, I got that. But you never check it, you never maintain it, you don't know what's going on. Sometimes it's not even on. And if you're buying those cheap little plastic pretend cameras, because you heard that just the, the visual of having a camera up there is enough. Come on, folks. Well, here's the thing is, I mean, you probably know somebody who has an alarm system who never even turns it on. Right. Um, you has a system, but nothing is recorded. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to protect your business. And, and now with the technology, it is far more fun to have an alarm system than ever before. Wait, what? Because it's all done on your smartphone. You can trigger things, turn things off, turn things on, turn Look on cameras. Look at you all lit up and all that. It's really kind of fascinating. Does this does that have anything to do with the fact that your husband owns a security company? Well, I, I might be privy to some of the technology <laughs> yeah. because my husband does own um, a security system or security company. But it's fascinating, right? And and the things that you're doing now, of course, you know, somebody who owns a high-end jewelry store needs something completely different than if you just have a like a little coffee shop. But there are systems out there for everybody, for everything. And with passcodes, you can change passcodes. You can turn on your air conditioning. You turn, can turn off the lights, lights off. and on. Yeah, right. yeah folks, uh, listen. There's very little excuse anymore. You just need to invest in a good security system, and there are many, many out there. Lots of articles available to uh, to do that. You mentioned something: uh, passwords. You can change passwords. People need to get on board with using smarter passwords. So here's the thing: there's technology now out there that helps you create smarter passwords. We use all pro web tools for right. our software system, which does all of our CRM. It has all sorts of fun little pieces built into it. But one of the the services that it provides is the ability to create these really tricky passwords because everybody is making up their own password, which is your dog's name, your birthday, 
you know, it's or worth using one password for decades. For everything. Yeah. And these days, having an ins- unsecured, insecured, unsecured password that makes me insecure is dangerous. There's a lot of technology that you're, a lot of information that you are responsible for. Information about other people, information about other people's businesses, financial information. You need to protect it and so does your staff. So making sure that you have a setup for having smarter passwords. And in some cases, a two-step authentication um, for security passwords for getting into really important stuff absolutely uh we just spent some time talking about an emv reader if you don't have an emv that's the chip the microchip that goes into the credit card uh readers uh you you just need to go get that done also um storing sensitive information right on your computer bad idea ask hillary right (laughs) sorry but here's the thing if it's lost or stolen or gets a cup of water thrown confiscated by the government shared with everybody Keeping business data in the cloud is a better option. Yes. And so securing your data, um, educating yourself and your employees on payment best practices, making sure you're taking money in a secure fashion. You're not storing credit cards, credit card information. There's a lot of changes going on with the financial piece. And another thing that you mentioned, uh, we use all pro web tools and it is an all-in-one small business uh, software package. Unbelievably uh, uh, priced, great stuff. But one of the things that uh, it allows you to do is give different permission levels for the different employees that you have. So, you know, they, they're they able to see the things that are relevant to their level of business, but they're not able to get into your sensitive uh, data and files. You know, and thinking about, you know, do you always have, you know, three employees? You know, so nobody's closing the stores alone. Nobody's opening the stores alone. Security practices for coming and going in your business. So make this a priority in your staff meeting this week to talk about security practices in your business, not only for your staff, but also for your information and your technology as well. And just protect it all because the worst thing that would happen, you know, something bad happens, but that you could have you could have done something to prevent it and to protect yourself. And so these crises don't have to turn, they don't have to derail your business. You can have some pieces in place that protect you as well. And if you're looking for companies to provide any of the services to protect your business, again, look at the extreme customer service directory online at experiencepros.com. This is where all the best companies offering the best customer service are there to provide for you. And if your favorites aren't listed, let us know and we'll invite them to play with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it is a big investment, right? Well, your your business is an, a big investment. Protect it. Absolutely. And then get your teeth cleaned while you're at it. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> at least I think it is for me. Uh, you well, don't do that automatic, make a next appointment when you go in there? I, I do, and then I cancel on the appointment because something comes up. I, I get busy. It is hard to pick a pick an appointment time six months in the future. Absolutely. Hey, shout out to, to our friends over in Johnson City, Tennessee, uh, WGOC. Thanks for tuning in to the Experience Pros radio show. We love you guys. And uh, for more information about the Experience Pros, check out experiencepros.com. And it's all online, all right there. You can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. We would love for you to do that. Use the hashtag fan brag when, you, when you're when you talking on Twitter with us. Um, like us, follow us, share us with your friends. There you go. On behalf of Charlie, our producer, and Angel, myself, and all the people that make the Experience Pros radio show happen every single day, we say thank you for tuning in and participating in this, the revolution in how people treat people in business. <laughs> This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Scott Woodley is next with Haystack Health Radio on KLZ 560.